Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Regular Beer Reviews, where regular doesn't refer to the beers being reviewed, but to the reviewer myself. I'm Jesse, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer that I have had quite a few times before. This is Negra Modelo. This is from um, Grupo Modelo, uh, S.A. de C.V., whatever. I'm not sure what those letters stand for. Uh, it's out of Mexico City, Mexico. I know it's like a big Mexican conglomerate, and they put out a lot of beers. Um, obviously, they put out you know, regular Modelo, uh, that's right in the name, but I believe, um, I believe they might put out, like, Corona, and, um, I think they do Tecate, and they might do Dos Aquis. I'm not, sh I'm not really sure, um, I don't drink a lot of Mexican beer, and I haven't really researched it, but anyway, let's get into the numbers on this, Beer Advocate gives it a 77, which is just okay, and that's with 1,984 ratings, Rate Beer gives it a 22 overall, with a 48 for the style, and the Bros give it an 82, which is good. It has an ABV of 5.4%, so it's pretty moderately sessionable. It's about like a Budweiser or something. The style is a Vienna or um, an Amber Lager. It has year-round availability. I'm not sure what the IBUs are, but it's not a Pale Ale or an IPA, so it's not you know super prevalent to you know know what they are. Um, here's a quick descript from Rate Beer. It says this dark Vienna Munich type beer has has had extraordinary acceptance in international markets. Exports to the US began in the early eighties and have since attained and has since attained uh, great success in Europe, Australia, Central and South America. So it is a pretty well known beer internationally. Um, this beer, again I've had it quite a few times. It reminds me kind of Amber of Amber Bach or something, but I, I definitely think it's better than that. But uh, let's go on ahead and get this poured. I know it's a daiquiri glass, but I always use this for like brown ales, porters, and dark lagers, like like amber lagers and um, and box and doppel box and stuff. So let's see, here we got that poured. It is a nice amber color, um, kind of ruby red tinges coming through. That's definitely clear. This is a well filtered beer. Tons of carbonation streaming up. I'd say about a nice half finger head there. Um, maybe very, very light tan or kind of on the darker beige side. Frothier bubbles. Let's get a nose on this. It smells, um, it smells, um, I mean, you can definitely smell kind of dark roasty malts up front. I mean, they're not super heavy, but um, you can smell, uh, or I could smell, um, like a little bit of coffee, um, a little bit of toffee malts, maybe some caramel in there, caramel, caramel, however the hell you say it, I, I usually switch it up, um, it, kind of bready, um, kind of bready yeastiness there too, and also the, uh, it smells like they use some cheap adjuncts in here, it smells kind of corny, um, sweet, um, maybe a little bit molassesy. not smelling any hops at all, but, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go on ahead and, uh, jump into this one. It's actually, it's it's still pretty cold. It's very very carbonated, kind of stings the back of the throat. Very thin, watery mouth feel. You get a little bit of those dark roasty malts in the flavor. It is very mild though. There's definitely a sweetness there. It tastes like it might be from the roasted malts, but it's also um, it definitely tastes like um, a sweetness due to to cheap adjuncts. They probably brew this with corn or something. Um, Again, I do think that this beer is better than, like, uh, a Michelob Amber Bach or something. But, I mean, it's still not, like, crazy impressive. I mean, I would pick it over an Amber Bach or, like, a Bex Dark or a St. Pauli Girl Dark or something like that any day of the week. But it's still not, like, there's nothing that's blowing my mind about this beer. It's not failing, but I'd say it's a little below average. I'm going to give Negro Modelo from uh, the uh, Cerveceria Modelo. Mexico, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Um, it's, again, I mean, this is a beer that I have had a few times before. You know, if I go out to, like, a Mexican restaurant, this is usually the only dark beer on their, on their list. So if I get something, you know, if I get, like, a steak fajita, if I get something, um, you know, like, like with beef, you know, something that's heartier, uh, you know, I'm, I might not want a Corona or, or one of the other light beers that are all the same on their menu. I might want something darker, and this is really one of the only darker options that you can get when you're out, so I usually go with this one. And it's not, it's not horrible. I 
I would say if you're really curious to try, uh, excuse me, if you're really curious to try uh, a dark Mexican beer because you don't see a lot of them on the market, pick it up. But other, other than that, I mean, I would say, you know, this is nothing that you have to have. Go out and grab it. It's kind of mediocre. But, again, it is better than a lot of the, the dark lagers that the, the big three put out and a lot of the, the, the really big conglomerate uh, other European companies, you know, like Bex and St. Pauli Girl and stuff like that that are owned by InBev and the stuff that they, the dark lagers they put out. I'd say it's better, it's better than, than those, but it's still not, you know, amazingly intense. So, yeah, if you've never had it, but, you know, you're not crazy, but don't, don't even worry about trying it. It's, it's not that amazing. But again, 6 out of 10 for Negro Modelo. That's a D. Um... Thank you for watching and keep watching again in the future for more reviews. Pulse.